Hello students, welcome back to Prudence Coaching English class. Here we provide ICC, CBAC and WBAC solutions. Today we are going to discuss the question answer from the chapter The Last Day of Pompey. This is one of the most important chapter from your book Golden Feathers Class 4 CBAC. So let's discuss all the question answer from this chapter. Here is the first part The Last Day of Pompey. Section A understanding the lesson. So here you need to rearrange the sentences in the right order. That means students you have to go through all the textual story and after reading the story very well you will be able to rearrange the sentences according to the facts from the story. So here you can see these are the lines given from the text and here is the rearrangement of the sentences 7, 4, 1, 2 and the next part is these are the sentences 5 3 6 so the perfect rearrangement order is once again i am telling you 7 4 1 2 5 4 5 3 6 okay now the next question section b answer the following questions in a few words first question what is different about that august morning answer the different matter about that august morning was that it began very hot hotter than a normal august day second question what were the sellers looking for anxiously answer the sellers looked anxiously for their respective buyers three by what time was the market full and busy answer by 10 o'clock in the morning the market was full and busy next question who was the only one who remembered the earthquake that occurred a few months back? Answer. The old man was the only one who remembered that the earthquake that occurred a few months back. Next question number 5. Where was the man's wife sitting when he reached home? Answer. When the old man reached home, he found his wife was sitting next to the fountain in their garden. Next question. C. Answer the following questions. Here is the first question. How was the market seen by 10 in the morning? Answer. By 10 o'clock in the morning, the market was busy and full of noise. It was overcrowded with the sellers and buyers. The traders were calling out for their wares and the people wandered from stall to stall, bargaining and buying things. Now the next question, number two. How did the people of Pompey leave messages? Answer. There were no telephones or post then so the people of pompey used to leave messages on the local city walls to communicate with each other now the next question number three how did the people react when the old man told them that the volcano was steering answer the people of pompey reacted strangely when the old man told them that the volcano was steering no one listened to him carefully and their gusps and nervous laughs filled the ear they took it very casually and went back to whatever they were doing then now number four why did the people of pompey not listen to the old man answer the people of pompey did not listen to the old man as they all were used to vesuvius rumbling and spewing out smoke continuously they did not know the cause of such natural disasters and were ignorant of its forthcoming dangers consequences now the next part d think and answer First question, was was the way of leaving messages on the city wall a good method? So do you consider the way of leaving messages on the city wall a good method or not? So if you consider it no, then you have to provide reason for that. If you consider yes, then you have to provide reason for that. So here is our answer. I think the way of leaving messages on the city wall was not a good method at all because here we are providing the reason the city walls become full of all the boring messages and people don't pay any attention to those information. Consequently, the communication remains incomplete. So, it is not at all a good method of communication. Okay, students, I hope you are getting all the answers very suitable for you so students if you find this content helpful don't forget to subscribe share and like this content because your little effort will help us to provide you more helpful content so the next question now number two do you think the old man was intelligent answer yes i think the old man was very intelligent now you have to provide reason for it only he could make a connection in between the earthquake and the volcanic eruption in the city of Pompeii. He along with his wife escaped and saved their life. 
L-I-V-E-S, saved their lives. And those who don't listen to his warnings, all of them died. All this shows that he was really an intelligent person. All this show that he was really an intelligent person. Now the next question, why did no one believe the old man? Answer, the people of Pompeii thought that the old man always predicts terrible happenings. They did not know that they and their city would soon be buried under 60 feet of ash and mud. So no one except his wife believed that his predictions would come true so students here we finally discuss all the question answer from this chapter if you want more question answer from any other chapter you just comment and like your videos have a nice day students thanks for watching our content have a great day students goodbye